Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming in with another battle replay here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. We are on the settlement of Tola for Doom. We do have a 3v3 siege here. Let's take a look at the defending factions first. We'll start off with the defending Carthage being commanded by uh, Chris Hardcore. Chris Hardcore. He has brought with him four units of Iberian swordsmen, three Scutare, three Italian swordsmen, two African pikemen, one Samnite warrior, one Gallic warrior. Three Cretan archers. His general is a regular general's bodyguard, and he does have a unit of the Balearic Slingers. His first ally here we have is Lusitani being commanded by Scorpion 2004, and he has brought six units of the Lusitani Swordswomen, four veteran shield warriors, three Lusitani nobles, one of those being his general, two Iberian sling oh sorry, two Iberian swordsmen and three Iberian slingers. And then finally we have Nebatia being commanded by Zelvis, and he has brought six units of the armored hoplites, six Nabataean swordsmen. One Desert Levy. His general is a Nabataean Noble Cavalry General. A Nabataean Noble Cavalry. And he also has brought four units of the Heavy Bowmen, or the Heavy Archers. Getting out onto the attacker side, we do have another Carthage being commanded by Not Your Day. Not Your Day. He has brought six units of the Libyan Infantry, three Italian Swordsmen, three Samnite Warriors, two, I, uh, two Libyan Hoplites, one Gallic Warrior. His general is also a General's Bodyguard. He has three Cretan archers and one giant ballista. His first ally we have here is Colchis being commanded by Maku22, and he has brought eight units of the Axemen, three Hoplites, one Hillman. I think he has a couple of units of the Cartley Axemen as well. Looks like maybe two, two units of Cartley Axemen. Yeah, two units of Cartley Axemen. Uh, his general is a unit of the Noble Blood Cavalry General right there, and he has also brought four units of the Eastern Archers. And then finally over here, we have Arverni kind of attacking by themselves, but once they get up to the wall, you'll see that it will be all joined together as one good attack. Arverni being commanded by Spartacus, and he has brought six units of the Chosen Swordsmen, five Celtic Warriors, two Levy Freemen, two Osworn, one of those being his general, one Giant Ballista, and I'm assuming he's got his hunters somewhere around somewhere, because they're ninjas, and they're awesome. So... Inside the settlement already, it looks like, wow, the Lusitani Ballista is already gone and got zero kills. Ouch, that is going to be a little rough. It's definitely going to be rough, but speaking of rough, Iberian Swordsman unloading on this unit of Levy Freeman. Finally making their way down off of the wall. Looks like they are just going to be charged right into, so yeah, no response from Javelins for the Levy Freeman. More units of the mercenary Skitari right there, getting some javelin volleys off. I built, no, 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 I'm sorry, it's the Iberian swordsman here. And that Levy Freeman unit is going to be completely annihilated. 75 men left in the unit, completely routed. One kill, but they were successful in taking out the ballista crew. So that is definitely a uh, good sight for them. Somehow they only have one kill though, even though there's four guys on the ballista crew. So I'm not sure exactly how they all died. Anybody else getting inside the settlement? Not just yet. Colchis does look like he's waiting for Carthage to make his way up to the wall as well. So I think, I guess Arverni just pressed in just to try and get rid of that ballista unit real fast, which he was de definitely successful in doing. There's some of the eastern archers here for Colchis making their way forward. Just one lone unit of the eastern archers have moved up. Libyan infantry, two more units of those. Ooh, artillery shot. Where's that coming from? Over, no, not there. Was that a friendly artillery shot that came in and hit his own guys? It might have been. Might have been artillery fire now coming out from the wall artillery out into these eastern archers. Only lost two so far. They will be safe for a time being in the water. For a short time being. Arverni over here looked like he was firing. Yeah, he has 55 kills. Looks like he's firing up into the settlement, I think. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's done any damage to the wall yet. Let's see what he's got as far as kills here. Four shots pouring into the, the settlement here. Iberian swords were taking a bit of a loss there. Some of the mercenary Scutari 
12 dead out of that unit so far. So Kokus is really just holding... Oh, nope, Carthage has now let some of his units down. Libyan Hoplite unit inside the settlement here. Not taking out... Choosing to not fire... Uh, actually, no, they're coming over. I mean, it wouldn't really matter anyway. The uh, Onager here is pretty much defended by the wall artillery, and it is going to be taken out. He did get 71 kills, though, but again, the Javelin volleys coming in. Nabiotean Swordsman getting a good volley there into that Hoplite unit. See a lot of them really damaged up there. The rest of the unit is finally getting up off of the tower. Here comes the banner. 99 men left in that unit. Looks like they're going to try and come over here, maybe start neutralizing this tower, which would definitely be very good for them to have. But here comes that brave desert levy unit, which actually was buffed up by two bronze chevrons. Going to charge in here, so the battle is definitely underway here now see some of the Arverni troops starting to come off. Is that Arverni? Nope, it's more of Colchis making their way off of the towers there. So Arverni has yet to press any further unit aside of that one unit of Levy Freeman that was made their way in there. Any cavalry, anything? Yeah, I did. Okay, so Carthage, the inside Carthage, the defending Carthage, did bring a unit of the Mercenaries Qatari cavalry over there. So we'll have to see what he ends up doing with that. But a lot of these javelins being wasted, unfortunately, by the attacking Carthage here. You can see they're just throwing them right into the wall, not even getting up there. Actually, some of them even getting hit into their own tower. Look at that right there. That's a good one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six or seven javelins just stuck in the tower there. So unfortunately, they were not used very effectively. More of the Colchis units have made their way in. Regular hoplites in the mix. This unit. Oh, oh, I don't uh it didn't even hit anything. Kind of like bounced, but didn't hit anybody. But again, speaking of being hit, javelin volleys are plenty coming from these defending units. More and more and more of the death sticks being thrown. Amazing kills. Look at all that javelin volleys right there. Oh, and they're getting more javelin volleys into the back now. Oh, there we go. Some more artillery fire coming in. Hitting a little bit more of the... I think that hit that Nabataean Swordsman unit there. Arverni is still pressing his units up, bringing his towers forward. So, so far, Colchis and Carthage are inside the settlement as far as the attackers. Archer fire now coming. Where is that coming from? Where is that archer fire coming from? That's not from all the way over there. No way. Okay. Slingers? No. Oh, is that just javelin? More javelin volleys? Or is it the outside archers? Yes, it is. Cretan archers here for the attacking Carthage has moved up. 32 kills for them so far. Eastern archers look like they are holding their arrows. So the Cretan archer unit right there with six kills so far. Let's see exactly what they are firing on. Ooh, there you go. Good unit to fire at. Try and shoot into the back of that mercenary's Qatari unit as they were moving back. More artillery fire coming up. Look at the placement of this Lusitani slinger unit. The Iberian Slingers right there, getting some really, really, really good shots. Let's take a look at where they're firing at. Yeah, they are just unloading on that Hoplite unit. Those look like this unit of the uh, Axemen are getting shot as well. Just not... Sh oh, there you go. Nabataean Archers. Heavy Archers. 35 damage. That is pretty high missile damage. So they are going to definitely get some good kills. Actually, looks like they're fly firing in onto the flank of the Hoplites now as well. Arverni still has not made his way into the settlement, but oh, he, did, he made a wall breach. There you go. That will definitely be helpful. More of the hoplites there for Colchis have made their way in. Levy Freeman are now at the base of the breach, getting ready to come in. There's the Gallic Hunters. One, two, three, four. He did bring all four units of Gallic Hunters, so that should be beneficial for them. Artillery fire still coming in, firing really deep into the defensive front line here. Carthage front line is still holding pretty well. Nabataean front line is up there still. And also, still trying to help hold against these Carthaginian and the Colchis troops. Arverni now... Yes, Arverni is now starting to drop some units inside the settlement here. Unit of Celtic warriors coming in by the tower. Looks like another unit may be coming in through the breach there. That is the Levy Freeman unit there, but I think... Is this unit going through the tower? Not sure if that unit's going to go through the tower. It looks like they are making their way over here. 
towards the breach, so they will be able to help press in there. This Levy Freeman unit now stacked up behind. Might not be a bad idea for that Levy Freeman unit to actually change, turn their direction to fire into the uh, Iberian Swordsman there. But the Celtic Warriors, oh wait, more units have now dropped. Here we go. More Celtic Warriors, two more full units of Celtic Warriors making their way inside the settlement. Let's get back over on this side, see how the attacking Carthage is doing. We do see the defending Scutare Cavalry coming around the bend there. Libyan infantry up in the mix, taking on the Cesar Levy and the Yenabatean Swordsman unit. Let's see where this, where this Carthage Cavalry is going. Wonder if he was thinking about maybe trying to get over to those Cretan archers. I mean, he is still making his way. Slowly, 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 but I would not challenge mercenaries. They all have javelins, so I would not challenge mercenaries at all. Ooh, Nabatea artillery is now firing down over here. What the heck? That shot just bounced right through that artillery piece. Very interesting. That one hit. That one definitely made contact. Oh, just over the top on that one. There you go. Another bounce shot. Two. Two for the price of one. There you go. Good shooting there, Nabatea. The bounce shot just coming up a little short there. Ooh, landing in the infantry there. Not bad. There you go. Another one taken out. Now, Carthage can, if he if his crew does survive, which probably crew should survive, if he wanted to, he could bring his crew around over there and use the Arverni artillery if all of his artillery does end up getting burned down. Oh, don't want to do that. Definitely don't want to turn the tower around because these guys can get shot. Oh, that shot was so close to getting through there. Nabatea, oh my god, Nabatea was successful, so let's see. We will see if Carthage does decide to bring his unit around over here. Oh, Arverni, very well done. 172 kills for his artillery piece. Very nicely done. Back inside the settlement, Mercenary Skutari taking on this Celtic Warrior unit. Second unit of Skutari not looking very good. Down to 79 men, only 35 kills. That is pretty rough to see. Tiny swords women making their way up into the mix. Yes, it is. That unit has taken some losses as well, but they hit a gap. They have hit a gap, and they're going to make their way through here. I'm not sure if they're going to try and get those Celtic. Oh, nope, they're charging down. They are. To look at that. Well done by Lusitani. One unit of swords women has come down to delay these two units. One axeman, one unit of Celtic warriors. Now they're not going to hold forever, but they did get down there long enough, or fast enough, I should say. They should be able to hold these two units back for just a little bit longer before they're able to get inside the settlement. Front line over here, Nabatean Swordsman not looking too good. Lot, oh my god, that was a lot of archer fire that just came down in that one section. Is it both of these guys? Yes, it is. Carthaginian defending, Carthaginian archers now firing in onto these axemen. Front line is still pretty secure on this side, I would say. Do have a unit of cold... Oh, actually, no, never mind. Sorry, that's a unit of the hoplites. Oh, God. Archer fire is deadly. Archer fire is deadly. Here comes some more of the attacking units. Another unit of axemen making their way forward. Getting into this unit of Italian swords. They're going to be able to hold for a little while. Not, probably not a whole lot longer though. Lusitani Swordswomen now coming back. Might not have actually been a bad idea for that Lusitani Swordswomen unit to kind of just squeeze through and attack into the back of these hoplites and the axemen when I might have been able to help the uh, Carthaginian archers from saving some ammo because they really don't have the greatest of angle. I mean, they're volleying over. They're getting good kills, but that's not a unit that's breaking because of man law, you know, unit loss. That's... 111 men still unit in that in that unit, and they're fighting against a much less unit, much much less infantry unit, I guess. Wow, I just words are difficult sometimes. <laughs> less strength. There we go. Less strength unit. There we go. But now the attackers making their way through over here. Attackers Arverni and Colchis have made their break through on this side. Some of the Iberian slingers having to be forced down to hold this line. Probably not going to be a very long fight against these Celtic warriors unless Carthage gets a unit of his archers around over here. That would be a fantastic 
angle for some of these Carthaginian archers to fire down because they'd be firing on the off shield side and they'd be firing kind of in the flank as well. So definitely would be a fantastic time, fantastic time for them to fire over there. Uh, let's see what happened to the Carthaginian cavalry. Is it still around or did it die? Oh, uh, oh, oh, well, it's dead. I don't know what killed it, but it's dead. What? What? Was that archers, I guess? I guess that was archers. Wow. Not them. Was it the Golic Hunters, maybe? No, they're still over here. Oh, 118, 102. Wow. 51 and 14. So I'm going to guess that maybe these two units moved over there and just quickly dispatched that unit of the uh, Skatari Cavalry that was over there for the defending Carthage. Osworn General in the settlement, really? He's got his other Osworn still outside. I wonder why he brought the General in. We have the Carthaginian General inside as well. Let's take a look back over on this side. Nabateus, Swordsman holding off the uh, the uh, Samnat Warriors so far. Any other archers over here that could maybe get some shots? That unit of Nabateus and heavy archers could maybe get some shots. Maybe one of these Carthaginian archers get some shots over into these mercenary Sam Knights to try and help burn them down real quick. Does look like yeah, the so the initial defense of this settlement is pretty much but over, but again, absolute destruction and death. Blood everywhere, broken axes, broken shields, ah, dented armor. Wow. Look at all the dead right there. Amazing amount of kills. Amazing amount of kills. Nabateen archers now oh no, sorry, Nabateen swordsman now getting shot in the flank. Eastern Archers getting some good shots. Now they're actually... Ooh, look at that. Eastern Archers with a good high volley into these Iberian Swordsmen. Only 15 armor. Not really going to hold for very long. They have 55 kills. So I wonder if they still have any Javelins left. But they are getting dropped very, very quickly. Very, very, very quickly. Back over on the hill here. We do have a unit of the Armored Desert Hoplites for Nabatea. Has moved forward. Quickly dispatching a unit of the Celtic Warriors. Another unit now charging forward. 174 kills for that unit. Wow, very nicely done. Celtic Warriors getting close to 200 kills. Aurora of the mercenary Iberian swordsmen up on the hill there. I think they were firing down into these uh, chosen swordsmen. Let's see. Is that where they were firing? Looks like they're just out of range now. I do see the general. Yeah, Carthage General is inside the settlement. Back up over here. Look at this. Oh, that's how it's done for. There you go. So that's going to save the defenders a little bit. They can pretty much still congest all of the attackers in now two spots. They can hold them in two spots right now if they wanted to. They will, if they eventually losing this hill, would obviously force the defenders to have to move back to the next set of choke points. But for right now, the amount of archers that are still up here, infantry is still pretty strong up here. We have uh, two units of Iberians, another unit of Sam Knights up on the hill there. So that is definitely still some pretty strong units, along with the Desert Hoplites. They can definitely hold for a long, 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 long time. That tower is now completely engulfed in flames. Going to be burning down here very, very, very shortly. I'm going to take the opportunity here real quick, guys. If you are enjoying this battle, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, share the content around, and of course, if you are new to the channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. That would definitely help me out as far as dealing with the uh, YouTube algorithm monster and getting a little bit more attention to my channel and everything, getting closer and closer to 7,000 subscribers, though, guys. So I've made this challenge before. I'm going to make it again. If each one of you guys tells one friend and gets one friend to subscribe, that'll be close to 14,000 subscribers, guys. And that would be amazing. 
absolutely amazing. But I do want to say I thank and appreciate every single one of you guys so far for the help and support that you've given to me at this point. Just wanted to say that real fast. So let's get back into the fighting. Mercenary Italian swordsmen now charging up into this unit of the and Armored Desert Hoplites who have just switched into their hoplite wall. Units of Nabatee and archers over here on the wall, actually. Heavy archers getting shots across. That's actually a really, really good shot. Getting some good shots in onto the back of that Sam. That unit actually might be getting some shots. Uh, I mean, it's the shielded side, but they might actually still be getting some pretty okay shots into that Italian swordsman unit. Might not be a bad... Oh, no, they're going to pull back. Okay. I was just wondering. I thought maybe they were going to get some good shots over there. Maybe they, maybe they were aiming at the Sam Knights, and the Sam Knights pulled back too far. What is this? Oh, they already broke through this. Oh, oh, because, oh, the Hoplites pulled back. That's right. Desert Hoplites did pull back with another, another unit of the Lusitani Swordswomen here. So smart move by Lusitani, keeping his veteran shield warriors back as the next line. That is his next line, right? One, two, three, four units of those. His, all of his uh, nobles up in the town center. Another Iberian swordsman up there, and we do have one unit of the Lusitani swordswomen over here defending this gate in case the defend the attackers decide to try and come over there. But so far, it does not look like the attackers are really going to try and press this hill very hard. Empty noble general pressing his way forward. Wonder where he's going to try and go. Hopefully, he doesn't go the same route as that Skutari cavalry there. They, I don't think, I don't think they moved at all. I don't think they got a single kill. But more archer fire now coming down. Nabatier and heavy archers chasing these Cretan archers away. Smart move. Definitely a very smart move. That would be probably another good unit. I don't think he's got the range, though. But that would probably be another unit to try and get some shots in on. They'd be firing in on the shielded side, though. So probably a good idea to be holding those arrows back for a time. But yeah, it looks like the attackers have pretty much given up so far on pressing for that hill. They are just pressing further and further into the settlement. Sam Knights over here, 188 kills being held back by the uh, Armored Desert Hoplites here who haven't even lost 60 men yet. And they have 91 kills. We have another unit of Italian swordsmen there. So the defender's doing a pretty solid job. I'm wondering, yeah, here we go, another unit coming up. Full unit of Celtic warriors making their way forward. Hopefully they do take advantage of using their javelins. Looks like they're going to, oh, Iberian swordsmen firing back. Firing across into that Iberian Swordsman unit. Good job. Knocking them down. Two of them left somehow. They're, okay, never mind. They're gone. Another unit has moved forward. The Samnite Warriors have now moved up as well. So the defenders still not willing to give up this hilltop. And I don't blame them at all. As I kind of alluded to earlier there, if the attackers get up on this hill, they can obviously put their archers over here where the Carthaginian archers are. And they'd be able to fire down pretty good vantage point here which would force the defenders like i said defenders would have to pull back to these choke points to be able to continue on fighting here without having to deal with any archer fire basically so yeah i understand why the defenders are still holding this hilltop Let's see more of the wow herferni has so much left still outside it's got another unit of chosen swords four units of chosen swords osworn there Celtic Warrior unit did come back. Did Carthage get onto the town? He did get onto the Ballista, but I don't think he got on there in time. I mean, he could try and fire up on the hill. That could definitely be helpful. Just drop some shots up there. Averni's pulling back. Averni is definitely pulling back. Ooh, Nabatee in general outside of the settlement. What is he again? He's heavy shot. Oh, he's heavy melee. Against heavy melee. Ooh, that would be a fight. That would definitely be a fight, but I know exactly. Yeah, Nabatee and Noble General, he's trying to get around there to get into the Carthaginian archers. They still have a bit of ammo, 75, 38. They should still have a decent amount of ammo left, but Libyan infantry is ghosting these units very, very well. Protecting them, shadowing them out more than ghosting. 
shadowing them very, very nicely along with the Cocos General that's moved over. Definitely a good thing. Oh my god, is he really firing all the way over there? I, honestly, I'd be firing up on the hill. I would be firing right here, just try and take them down. Looks like they have burned down the tower, that's, okay, well, the hill is still kind of something that would be important just to get some archers up on top of, but they've taken the, they've taken the uh, tower down, so it's kind of lost a bit of its importance. Not all of it, but a bit of its importance. Did that Carthage, uh, the noble general's coming around? Maybe he's going to try and get into the Carthaginian uh, giant ballista crew? Noble Blood Cavalry, Cocos General is going to continue with the chase. It's a pretty solid push up here in the middle, I have to say. with that screaming from the swordswomen quite a loud fight going on right over there what is that another unit of libyan infantry moved up 152 kills for them not too bad at all and look at this the attackers making their way around where is that noble general oh he's going to be stuck unless he can get around over here fast enough he'll only have two more ways to get back in the settlement that one there or this back hill all the way around in the back side of the settlement because the attackers have now almost gained control of this front gate tower, which is going to be huge. Nabatea is now starting to fire down. Some shots into this Libyan infantry down to 114 men, 44 kills. Another unit of Cartley Axemen there, 153 kills down to 28 men. They took some damage, but close. They are starting... Oh, they're just... Wait, what? How are they only just starting to capture it? They've been there. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. How are they just capturing it now? Osworn General has pushed up onto the hill, now taking on this same night warrior unit, and that's a fight. That is definitely a good, uh, good old-fashioned, uh, 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 brutal fight, I guess. Yeah. Osworn's definitely gonna win the fight, but. Definitely a tough, tough knuckle fight. Another unit going up there. Yep, Chosen Swordsman now making their way up. I wonder... Oh, that Sam, that unit's dead. That Sam, that unit is going to be removed, but the Osborne General is going to get himself out of there. Well, he lost 14 men. Almost 100 kills, 90 kills, not bad. Does look like the uh, Carthaginian artillery is still firing. That was his last shot. Yeah, that was it. 45 kills, not terrible. Arverni definitely did way better, 172 kills. But here comes that Noble Cav. He's going to try and do something out here. Yep, just like that. Railroading a Levy Freeman unit. Not a bad job. Not a bad idea. Uh, probably clip this unit of the uh, Ballista Crew as well before he makes his way back out to the settlement. Or over to the gate, I should say. Oh, he might not make it. He, I don't think he's going to make it. He's going to have to come all the way around the back. Chosen Swordsman chasing this unit of Cretan archers down. 152 kills. Definitely out of ammunition. I'm interested if this general is going to make it back inside the settlement. Oh, the attackers aren't sending anything over there. Oh. Well, maybe this unit comes back. Nope, they broke. As soon as I saw how many men were still in that unit, I had a feeling they were going to break. But yeah, if I was the attackers, I would definitely send something over there quickly. Like, that Carthaginian general could get over there, get a hold of that gate, and be extremely beneficial 
Because if they leave this open and that Nabati in general can get in here, that could cause problems. That could definitely cause some issue, but they are pressing up more of their infantry. Another unit of regular Axemen have moved up over here. Do have these other two units. One unit of Cartley Axemen, one regular Axemen unit there. Currently still just holding place, but here we go. Cartleys are going to start moving forward. We are over halfway through this battle replay. So guys, again, hopefully you are enjoying the replay. If you are, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below. Share the content around it. Oh, no. If you are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I did not think. Okay. I thought that there was only a unit of archers older, holding over here. They do still have this side pretty well defended. Nabate is pretty much beaten up, though. Yeah, Nabate is pretty much gone. He still has his general outside. Only a couple units of the noble hop, uh, sorry, the desert hoplites. Doesn't even have heavy, uh, heavy archers up there, but his swordsmen appear to be all annihilated off the battlefield. Still does have one, two. Uh, that unit might not have any ammo left. Maybe a little bit. 108 kills. 59 this unit here with 127 and the unit that's in melee 128 Pushing up over here. Yeah, just the one unit of Cartley Axemen, but they are taking on a unit of the... Is that Lusitani Swordswomen? Nope, Veteran Shield Warriors. But again, I mean, their armor's 30, so it's better than the better than the, the uh, Swordswomen, I believe, by a decent amount. Isn't the Swordswomen... Are they all dead? Are they all dead? Oh, they are all dead. Okay, never mind. I can't even look. <laughs> I can't even look to see. The hackers have moved over here, though. They are going to at least neutralize. Stay there. You missed it. You didn't capture the tower. Ah. Oh. It's the noble general. Did he come back in? Where'd he go? There he is. He is coming around the back of the... Okay. So he is going to make his way back inside the settlement. Cartleys are losing the fight right now. Oh, that's not Cartleys. That's just regular action. Where'd the Cartley unit go? Is that what they sent over there? No, Axemen? Where's the Cartley Axemen? Did they get murdered? Oh, they did. I don't see that unit there anymore. Cartley Axemen got wrecked. Shocking. I'm actually really shocked by that. I thought for certain the Cartley Axemen would have been able to break through that Veteran Shield Warrior unit. It's too many arrows. Too many arrows. Chosen swordsmen have moved up. Libyan infantry moving up. Carthaginian general getting closer to the front. Oh, this is starting to look bad. This is starting to look a little... Oh, wait, no, never mind. Never mind, never mind. Hoplites are still solid. 36 men left in the at unit. This unit here, 106 men. Still looking very, very good. Having to deal with a unit of really beaten up. Oh, no, not that beaten up. Still over 100 men left in the same that unit. Looked like there was less. Hoplites, Desert Hoplites will be able to hold for a decent amount of time, but I think that the Samnites, unless they get Archer assistance, I think the Samnites can win that fight. Was that? Another unit of Samnites have moved in. Italian Swordsmen now pulling back out of that fight. What the heck? Oh, wait. How did... Oh, he squeaked. Oh, no. Oh, those are pikes. Yeah, that's pikes. Javelin volleys coming from the Axemen. I don't think they're going to get a whole lot of kills, though. Yeah, never mind. They got one. Sh they got one tiny volley. Veteran shield warriors now coming down. They maybe try and get a charge in, but here comes chosen swordsmen on the charge back into those veteran shield warriors.
Oh, we had another unit just pow power their way through that line of the uh, pikes. Hopefully they don't set the pikes off too far, too badly. But yeah, veteran shield warriors coming through again, getting into this Libyan infantry unit. Another unit of Libyan infantry right here. Getting some javelin volleys in. Archer fire now coming again. Cretan archers from the defending Carthage firing down onto this unit of Libyan infantry. Cutting them down pretty good, down to 122 men with only nine kills. So a decent amount of losses already. Down to 117 kills now. Or 117 men left, I should say. Let's see how we're looking on this side. Sam Knight Warriors making their way up, and they are about to get halted. Yes, they are. African pikemen holding this street, and they will be able to do so for a decent amount of time. The attackers, probably a good idea. Get some archers over here so they can fire up into the back of this pikeman unit. I mean, they have high armor, 70 armor, but getting shot in the back, not really a lot of armor back there. Neptune and heavy archers have moved over 152 and 84. One of them has definitely a lot of ammo. The other one, probably not so much. Napatia Noble General pushing forward just a little bit. Again, attackers definitely get like two or three units of archers over here and have them start firing down over there. Carthaginian General attacking Carthaginian General way up front, and he is getting lit up right now. Definitely not a place you want to be. Get out of there. Down, he's lost six men. Oh my god. That is a lot more than six men. He's still getting ripped apart. I don't know why the Carthaginian general moved his way all the way up there. I didn't see him use any abilities, so I'm, yeah, I'm really confused why he made his way up there. That was, that was dangerous. Down to 19 men. Carthaginian attacking Carthaginian archers now firing. 146, 85. Looks like they're trying to fire into that pike line. Pikes are taking some losses. Oh, wow. A lot of losses right there. Lost about... Uh, about 18, 19 men on that volley. Oof. Lost another 17 on that volley. Wow. These pikes are getting annihilated, but we still have 17 minutes left in this battle, guys. Wow. Oh, my God. This pike unit is just getting destroyed. Continuously getting destroyed. Are they going to try and pull him away? Or are they going to leave him there? Looks like they are just going to leave him there to get to get murdered. Let's see how we're doing on the other side. Any archer fire? Anything moved up over here? No archers have moved up over here. Defenders still have these couple units of the heavy archers on this side. I mean, honestly, if I was one of the attackers, the Gallic hunters and probably the eastern archers, all of them. Six units of archers, move them over there. Could definitely take out the uh, the heavy archer. I mean, it's six versus two. Six versus two, and yes, I know the Nabataean heavy archers, 35 damage. And they do have pretty okay armor, 40 armor. But uh, it's still six units of archers firing at you. So it's three units firing at each unit, basically. Pretty sure the attacker's archers would win that fight. Desert Heavy Hoplites are being removed from the battlefield. Italian Swordsman. Oh my god, more Archer Fire coming down. Or is those the Slingers? Where are the Slingers? There he is. Balearic Slingers up on the hill firing down. Three kills so far. More Archer Fire now coming in from the Eastern Archers. Some volleys across. Is that Pike unit gone? Nope, Pike's still there. Somehow still holding on. 25 men left in the unit. Probably because the General... Uh, oh, he's back there a little bit further. I thought the general was right there. But the noble general is right there for Lusitania as well. Along with the noble cavalry for Nabatea. Got some heavy archers moving down. Going to be the new front line. 177 kills for them. This unit here with 104. Even more of an opportunity for the attackers to bring some archers over here. They can shred down that pike unit. That would definitely be extremely beneficial for them. Archers now are going to charge in, stop the Chosen Swordsmen from being able to throw their throw their javelins. Well, maybe that was a misclick. Maybe he didn't mean to charge down there. Oh, no, they're coming back down again. Italian Swordsman charging. Oh, he's trying to the trick. Okay, so 
guys, I'm going to say this again. I said it before in a, in, a, in a more recent replay. You have to watch when you're on attack or on defense. doesn't matter, honestly. You have to watch. So sometimes, mostly the defenders will do it, but you will see the attackers do it sometimes. So the defenders are sending the archers out there, which the Carthaginian Italian swordsmen look like they're charging in on the arch archers. Now, when the archers are being charged in, they back up behind the pikes. Hopefully, the Carthaginian, the attacking Carthaginian player is fast enough to realize that they were being baited, pretty much, to come through and into the pikes, because those pikes would have chewed that unit of Italian swordsmen up pretty quickly. So, there you go. There's a little bit of advice. I've thrown it out before, throwing it out again. Archer fire now coming in onto this African pikeman unit here, down to 79 men. What do we have? Is that an Eastern Archer? It is... Lone Eastern Archer unit firing over here into the African Pike, but knocking down pretty good. Down to 78 men left in the unit. Let's get back over on the other side. Is that other Pike unit gone? No, they're right there. They have still survived. 19 men left in the unit, and they have not run away. Speaking of running, though, the defenders pushing out. Lusitani being very aggressive over here. Taking on a unit. Sam Knight's out from undercover. Nabatean Noble General actually charging down 92 kills. Well, he had a lot of kills outside, so he can't say he had all 92 kills. He had some kills outside on the Levy Freeman unit and that uh, Ballista Crew unit as well. So, not sure exactly how many kills he got over here on that charge. Hopefully he didn't disrupt that Pikeman unit very much. Doesn't look like he did. This Pikeman unit not looking very good. Really not looking very solid over here now. Down to 67 men. Javelin volley still pouring into this pikeman unit. Oh no, down to 42 men. How many are left now? 38. Dropping more and more and more. It's going to route. It's death. There it goes. Just in time for the Colchis Axemen to get in here. Cochian Axemen to get up here. And there they go. African pikeman unit has been trashed. And this is now open for the attackers to use to come wrapping around. They can pick up this tower. They can fight to get this tower, but here we go. Nabatean General charging in. Or not charging in. Not a good charge at all by the Nabatean Noble Cavalry General. He is a heavy melee cavalry general, though, so he can sustain fighting in melee for just a bit of time. Chosen Swordsman getting in there now as well. That general needs to move. Needs to get out of there. Iberian Slingers quickly rushing over there. 111 kills. Looks like another unit of Iberian Swords are making their way over there as well. Okay. Hopefully that general is going to be able to get out of there. Cretan Archers, four Carthage making their way up, 172, 195. 129. Very solid day there for them. And yes, the Nabatean General finally getting the re relief to get out of there. Oh, we got some nobles. Lusitani nobles here. Did not get that charge bonus. That's rough. It is definitely very, very, very rough. Noble Cav Gen rumbling around. Another O Sworn right there. Where's the Arverni General? There he is. O Sworn General is still alive. O Sworn now taking on a Veteran Shield. Pretty beaten up unit of Veteran Shield Warriors. Noble Cav Gen making his way around here for Colchis. 11, still 11 minutes left in this battle, guys. Pike's African Pike unit. 19 men left. Still moving their way back up again. Archers hitting a bit of a gap. These Cretan Archers for Carthage being defended by the other Cretan archers. 196 to 141. The Noble Cav General in there, though, definitely going to help these archers out. 150 kills now for the Nabatean General. Os1 General taking... Looks like he's... Is he taking shots? Oh, they're firing at the, Cre at the uh, Eastern. Okay, not a bad idea. Shine shoots him down. 
more Eastern Archers have moved forward and they're just going to volley straight into this General and Archer uh, blob unit right there. How these nobles doing? Holding pretty well. 129 men left in the units. Almost 100 kills. There you go. Just breaking the 100 kill mark. Now the defend the attackers have captured this gate. So these two towers will start firing on the def on the attackers there. I mean, no, on the defenders, sorry. They will start firing on the defenders. Ghost and Swords still trying to do what they can do. Another unit of Cretan archers from the defending Carthage making their way up. Looks like they're going to try and hit a gap. But Libyan infantry making their way over there. Osworn General now charging it onto this Lusitani Noble unit. Slinger's getting some good shots. Look at that. 152, 160 kills. Very nicely done so far. Unit of the Mercenary Balearic Slingers up here now starting to unload themselves as well. 49 kills. Getting a lot of kills down here on these Chosen Swordsmen. Osworn is still over here, though, fighting as hard as he can. 86 kills, taking on yet another unit of the Lusitani Nobles. Where's the Noble General? There he is, making his way out as well. He is going to come out and hold the line with his men. Bleed them! Run, curse you! Get running! This right here is definitely helping out. This archer tower is getting some really good shots into the back of that O S1 unit. Getting some shots on the Cretans as well, but. More effective for hitting the Osworn. Now they're starting to lose that combat over there. Osworn General actually pulled away from the fight. I wonder where he's going. I wonder if he's going to try and make his way around over here. I did see... Oh, yeah, this unit of Osworn did pull back. And charge back in, though. These Cretans did not last very long at all against those Lucidani nobles. Colchis General going to barrel his way in here. I wonder if the General... Yeah, I mean, I think the General could have made his way around this way. I'm pretty sure he could have hit this gap right there. This is pretty substantial. This is a pretty solid gap right there. This uh, Chosen Swordsman unit could definitely be getting in there. Probably trying to neutralize the tower. What is this? Oh, look at this. Eastern Archers. Just happened to set eyes on them. Getting shots across. What are they firing into? Are they firing into the Noble General? They are. Firing into that Noble General's back. He is now turned back around again. Shields out in front of them. Here comes the Nabateen General. He's going to try and hit a gap himself, but just getting involved in the melee. Colchis General still stuck up in there. And it's a whole lot of me heavy melee cavalry, though, so not too bad. Oswan General did come all the way back around over on this side. This is going to be two units of Oswan over here. Oh, nope. Oswan General pulling back out again. Call the Hunters. Let's see. 101, 117. They're probably both out. Yeah, they're out. And they're out. So, yes. Attackers appear to be out of all ammunition. Maybe these guys still have our ammo? The Eastern? No, those Easterns are out. These ones have ammo. No, they don't. They're out too. Oh, wow. Oh, Nabateen General, get out of there. Get out of there. Front has been broken open. Our Verney now making their way in here. This is an opportunity. Where's the Cocos General going? Where's the Cocos General going? Get back inside. Get back inside. You can totally be used right now. Oh, no. There goes the Nabateen General. He is being removed. 
Os uh, sorry, Chosen Swordsman making their way forward. Going to neutralize this tower. That's going to be huge. Slingers still going up here, though. 158 for the defending Carthage. Getting some good shots. Perfect units. To, I mean, yeah, definitely really great shots. Good, good units to be firing at. Ooh, the attack the defending Carthaginian general came out. Osworn general for Arverni with a good javelin volley. And he's going to pull away. Carthaginian general walking away. Zero kills down to 22 men. Second unit of Osworn have now made their way over here. Five minutes left, guys. Look at that balance of power. That is pretty much dead even right there. My God. Ooh, this is close. This is really, really, really close, guys. We have one defending general left. One, oh, sorry, two. The Carthaginian generals stay there. So we have two units of Lusitani nobles, a Balearic slinger, and a general's bodyguard. And this right here, that noble blood cavalry, get around there right now. Get around the backside over here. You got infantry coming up. Oh, no. That front line is breaking. 213 kills for that Lusitani noble, though. Colchis general now wavering. Pull back, pull back, pull back. 19 men. Oh, the general's dead. Never mind. Doesn't really matter. I mean, it's still a cavalry unit, though. There's still 19 guys in that cavalry unit. Looks like they're going to charge right in onto the Carthaginian general, who's going to counter charge back into that Colchian general. Osworn general here for Arverni. 304 kills. This unit here of Osworn, 229. What a fight, guys. Starting to get into favor a little bit of the attackers now. Three and a half minutes left, but oh, co uh oh, uh oh, oh, that's huge. That is huge. The two units of Eastern Archers just shattered, probably because their general died. But the Osworn general has now made his way around the corner. He is going to start digging into this Lusitani noble. Oh, the noble general hitting him with, oh no, the intimidate and the war cry. That's it. That's it. We still have one unit of... I saw the Gullic Hunter unit over here. I don't know where they went unless that was them that just broke. How is it because of the Ballista Crew? Is, is that why this battle is going to go on for another 2 minutes and 49 seconds? Wow. Wow. If that doesn't show you right there, that last couple of... that In the last 45 seconds to a minute right there... If that doesn't show how important a general is, there was so much from the attackers being pushed up here. And the Colchis general died there, and the archers shattered. Wow. Oh, wait, we got another unit of archers. Wait, what is over there? We have another unit of archers that just showed up? Hold on a second. There's a ballista crew. Let's get a fast, like a super fast forward here. Fast, fast forward. Not just regular forward. We got fast forward. All right, so the noble general is going to come out. He's going to start recapturing the tower. Here comes this ballista crew making his way around. There they, oh, whoa, two units of Gallic Hunters. Do they still have ammo? Oh, no. No. No, they don't. Could you imagine if they still had ammunition left? Oh my god, that would have been that would have been devastating. That Lusitani noble general would have been dead. Here we go though. The march of the Gallic hunters making their way up the hill. They're gonna charge into these Balearic Slingers. Well they're gonna try and get to the Balearic Slingers. I think they're gonna get cut down before they even get there though. Yep. One of them is wavering. The other unit just got hit by the war cry, and there you go. Wow. Very well done by the defenders. Again, very, very, very bloody battlefield. Fantastic battle. Fantastic battle. I mean, oh, Jesus, amazing. Almost an hour long. That was amazing. Let us take a look at some of these kills here, guys. Battle was sent in by Scorpion UL2004, played as Lusitani Dude. Thank you so much for sending this in. 
2,567 kills, close to 2,600. 189 on his general, his slingers, 163, 164, 144. Uh, Iberian swordsman, wow, 215, 135, very nicely done. His other two units of nobles, 214, 221. Uh, swordswomen, 115. Getting into his veteran shields, 185, 188, 180, 122. Getting in with the defending Carthage, 1886, so 1,900 kills. His general, six kills. The Skatari, they, I'm surprised they even got 16 kills. They got completely murdered, though. Uh, his Great archers, 152, 171. His slingers, look at that, 294. Pikes got wrecked. Uh, Iberian swordsman here, not a lot. Skatari, 118, 142. Italian swords, 137, 135. And his Sam Knight's not able to break 100 kills. Then we get in with Zelvis here and Nabatia, 2,198, so 2,200 kills. His general, 211. Archers, field day, 204, 114, 128, 132. Very well done. Desert Hoplites doing their job, 106. Hey, 69 giggity. 134, 115, 163. Desert Levy, 122 kills. That's shocking. Uh, Nabatine Swords with 109, 131, 184, 93. Pretty solid job. Pretty solid job. Two out of the three defenders over 2,000 kills. Very nicely done. Even uh, Chris Hardcore here was close to 2,000, so pretty good. Attacking Carthage, not your day, 2,434 kills. His general, 15 kills. The Ballista, 15. Archers, 140, 175, 198. Libyan Infantry, 241, 131, 136, 102, 105, 207. Pretty solid there. These two units did very, very well. Uh, Libyan Hoplites, 113. They didn't live that long. Wow. Uh, Mercenary Gallics, not a lot. Italians, one unit there, 112. Sam Knights, 146, 203, 199. Spartacus with Arverni, 2,759. So almost 2,800 kills. Most kills in the match. 329 and 235 on his Osworn, 172 on his Ballista, his Archers, 183, 117, 101, 189. Chosen Swords, 168, 110, 112, 202. Getting into his Celtic Warriors, 174, 131, 133, and his Levy Freeman, one unit there with 80 kills. And then we have Maku, 22, with Kokas, 2,132 kills. General, 20 kills. Um, still thinking that if that General had come back around, gotten out of the melee, came back around, might have gone a different direction for the attackers there at the end. Uh, Eastern Archers, 178, 122, 99. Cartley's doing okay, 154, 199. Actually pretty good, pretty solid with that Cartley unit. Uh, Axeman, 138, 180, 155. Hoplites, 164, 113. And the Hillman unit there with 26. But all right, guys, there you go. End of the battle replay here for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please make sure to hit that like button drop a comment down below share the content around uh subscribe if you are new to the channel that would be amazing have a good rest of your day stay safe and as always until the next one